Hi again, friends and family. Welcome this time to our dining room and kitchen. I'm finally getting to the last of our March decor videos. It's just crazy to me that April 1st, right around the corner here, is Easter. That is shocking to be that early. I really didn't pay attention to the date early in March when I decided I wanted to take out all of our pretty vintage green items. I just really like the color green, I guess, and Norm does too. So we weren't really thinking about timing to be able to get Easter videos done. I don't think that's going to happen very easily. I don't know if I'd be able to do just some short clips of things, maybe some YouTube shorts. I just can't promise anything. And Norm kind of started on a Easter window, but I just don't know what he's going to be able to do because today is Friday and on Monday morning, as I've talked about, he's going in for his surgery. So welcome back again. Thank you so much for your support and we really appreciate your wonderful messages that you left for the last video, which was the living room one. I sure appreciate it. I was thrilled to work on that project and I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for your very kind comments. So I wanted to show you first that I was just thrilled a week ago was um, two Rogers Antique Malls, 20% uh, off spring sale. And I did talk about that in the living room with certain pieces, but I went in the back room of Antiques 101 and way in a back corner, I don't happen to look at a rack of tablecloths hardly ever. And maybe it's because the majority of them were Christmas tablecloths. And I seem to have plenty of them. But for some reason, I wandered back there and I saw this beautiful, very olive green tablecloth. Looked like it had never been used. We've run it through the dryer twice. I didn't feel like ironing it. It was an $18 tablecloth, which I thought was amazing in that condition. And I got 20% off, so it was $14.40. What a deal. I was shocked. This label said 58 by 78. And again, we're 42 by 72. So that was amazing. You see the side? And look at on the ends. Could that be any nicer? Oh, wow. I could not believe it. I have found very few vintage tablecloths that fit. I have shared over the years ever since I started doing videos that I had purchased these lovely Hager ceramic candle holders so, so many years ago. I honestly feel that these were my very first Hager pottery purchase. I did not know anything about Hager at that time. I just happened to think, wow, those look kind of cool. And I was trying to find some, you know, mid-century things to start collecting. I just thought the colors were very sweet and decided to get them. I learned much, much later about Hager pottery. The candles are huge. They're very, very thick compared to other Lucite normal candles. These are much thick, thicker and they're, they were missing the tops, the little wick, but I've never bothered to do anything about that. I don't know if they're missing. 
I honestly can't tell. Or they just didn't make them that way, but they sure are showy. I think they're the showiest pair I have because they're quite a bright, bright, limey green. I have a lot of the darker Christmas green Lucic candles that are skinnier, but these were very unique, and they were also my very first pair of Lucic candles. So I love them. I've had that set with the candles in my owl bedroom, green owl bedroom for many years on the faux fireplace mantle. I've also shared this beautiful coronet duck many times uh, on the table at least once with grapes in it because I love that. I love the colors and also in the living room. I've shared it in there because I have quite a few of the different variety of large swan planters. So forgive me for doing similar things, but it's just some of the things I love, some of my favorite things. I may put now on a small little um, square tablecloth that I've shared in other March um, videos out here in the dining area. We'll check out the wall over there where I did this time mostly glass and decided to add amber glass. As I had mentioned in my February dining room video, I really decided I would like to have a lot of my melt glass in here for a change. And so I thought it would be just fine to spruce it up with a lot of green glass items that I've enjoyed finding over the years. There's some very fun, large, oh, I don't know if you'd want to call it a serp pitcher. They're getting pretty big to call them a creamer. These are all creamers. I used to put them in the kitchen window for a long time. That one's pretty mod. That one's pretty artsy. Very nice crackle glass. Love hobnail. This one is uh, smaller than the rest of them and it's quite heavy. Thicker glass. But yeah, I really like this big hobnail one. This was my mother's dish and it is uranium glass. She used to use it in her bedroom. She kept jewelry in it. And I did show this in previous years that it's a antique toothbrush holder. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen that yet, those are toothbrushes on the sides. A bow there and three legs that are actually toothbrushes. Isn't that funny? Yeah, that was a very, very cheap item. It was... Um, crazy under ten dollars um i never can remember exactly but boy i thought wow what a find after i googled it i mean i even wasn't googling things when i found that so i had no way of knowing how to look it up and i really like this one too that is a artsy covered oh could be a canister you could call it, um, maybe it comes in different sizes, I don't know, but it does have a raised floral pattern on it. I found that last year. So I think that really added a lot of green to the bottom. I have had all of these in uh, previous years, um, at least last year. There's three Avon bottles there. The two bud base looking ones in the middle. And then this one, this had probably skin so soft bath oil in it. And you can see that there's a gold pattern that is worn off. And you can find this in blue too, dark. 
what do you call that, cobalt blue. I've got that one too, and the gold is still on it. But this was uh, one of our last fancier Italian grape designed bottles that I have shown in groupings with the much bigger bottles that we have that have grapes on them. I thought it would be cute in this grouping because they're all similar size. That's a little glass actually on top. This was the newest one. And I just found another much bigger one over there. But every once in a while I see one and I don't know why they seem to be in green. I thought that was uh, an attractive piece. So that's what I did for up there. And I often like to have glass up here. It just does get good light on it, especially dark glass. It helps to light them up. I thought it would be a much better idea if I just opened the door on each side as I'm showing you the little pieces in here that are added. I did kind of change up the milk glass from many years ago. I've often had milk glass in here I'm sure it's popped up in many of our videos. I really do like it because it's a, you know, dark inside the cabinet and the white milk glass is just wonderful to pop in there. Uh, I usually wanted to have at least a light colored plate in the background. That helped a lot. So I do have four odd wine glasses wine goblets. They're very small, typically. This is actually the biggest one. Such a pretty pattern. It's probably showing with the seam instead of having it turned the way I should have had it turned. Like, more like that. This one is not uranium glass. It looks like Vaseline glass even, but it's not. That is a very cute toothpick holder. I think it's the cutest one I've ever found in glass. This is crackle uranium glass. Yep, that one is very nice. So that's called the eye winker pattern. I do have some ruby glass in that. The creamer and sugar, and I used to have the huge butter dish, but I don't recall if I sold that or not. I never take it out of the cabinet next to me. <laughs> Funny, huh? So these are just some fun Japan, I think. They're all Japan. Salt and pepper sets that I really enjoyed picking up cheaply. Um, this one was even an odd piece, so it was really cheap. Um, that would have been fun to have the second one, but it's cute having something odd. And this is the same as your um, Mood Indigo Blue Fruit designed dishes. And I forget who made that again, but they made other color schemes too. But those little topiaries. Fruit topiaries are so cute. I really think they're fun. So that's that side. Let's look at the other side without having my reflection. So that is a very pretty little wine glass. I don't know why I've found single ones. You know, they're like three to five dollars and five dollars even sounds expensive to me. I probably paid an average of three to four dollars. Yeah, so that is a very nice daisy and button look. Could be. I don't know. And this is a little glass and when I bought it I really didn't know that it was. I think I found it later on the internet as part of a set that even had the uh, decanter with it. So somebody would probably love to purchase that 
if uh, you wanted to sell it online, a single one, they'd probably say, oh, wow, that's just what I need. I broke one of mine. This is very fun, the moon and stars. Yeah, that's quite different, not being a longer stem. This is very pretty. Yeah, it's just been many, many years that I just thought they were so cute and so cheap. I loved all the patterns, so I just ended up with four odd ones. And in the kitchen, I have found more sets of olive green. So that's a pretty common toothpick holder design in different colors. I tried it as a votive and you can't get a votive in it. So that is definitely a toothpick holder. Now you've seen in last year's uh, dining room shelving over here to my right, I had all little ceramic things. Instead of doing glass like I'm doing this year, I did ceramic things. So I had found these very hilarious salt and pepper cactus set. And I think I may have found them at Antiques 101. In Rogers, they have lots of salt and peppers for sale. And they're always like about five, five or 595 for a pair that's very nice quality and older. But I think I even picked up that odd cactus back there because I, I knew, well, how new is this saguaro? I think I did just find the saguaros last year, but it was in time for my March video. But wait till you see what I just found at Antiques 101. They were having their sale, like I mentioned, 20% off. Look at what was there. <laughs> Look at their noses. Oh, they are absolutely nuts. I should have had them turned a little bit more for you. So it says saguaro on the bottom. And they have corks in the bottom. So they are old. But this one back here, let me turn them a little bit so you can see them better. There. Now you can see that guy's nose. And look at this crazy hook nose. Isn't that funny? So I thought, now that I moved these, got them a little too nose to nose there. Isn't that fun? I'll probably keep running into something like that once in a while. Maybe once a year. Yeah, so thank you Antiques 101. One of my favorite local stores around here. They always have something cute and inexpensive. I've had this for quite a long time. I usually show it in the living room on the shadow box with all other baskets that I've been finding over the years. It barely fits on the shelf. It's a little bit wider, but it's your daisy and button pattern again. And I did have this sitting here in this spot over the years. It, it was a thrifted vase, um, so pretty. And I forget who made those. I have three of them now. Um, they say Red Wing when I've looked it up. And some of them, act, one of them, does it actually say on the bottom? A very speckled one that I have. That's kind of fun to take out for Easter because it looks like the Easter eggs. The little ceramic hobbyist Easter eggs. Yeah, we found that speckly one. Not cheap. In Duluth. But this one was really cheap. And it did have a chip up in the rim that I tried to patch up with adding some glue to it. So it's on the back side of the rim, but I love this grape cluster because it is translucent. Love the plastic leaves. I've picked up so many over the years 
that are have the plastic leaves because I know they're older and especially love the translucent ones. So rather than putting some greenery in there or a little bit of flowers, I thought it would be fun uh, to have a grape theme in here, um, a little more so over down here on the cart. I love finding glass fruit and I find it really inexpensive. I don't think it's that popular. Maybe people just don't like to deal with the fact that they're heavy pieces. This is probably my newest purchase. I do have like oranges, an orange and uh, no apples, but more things in the greens and the oranges and a little pear I found, a little green pear. That one's a pretty big piece of art glass and it was a deal, a real deal. Yeah, I don't know, that might have even been at the Goodwill. It's amazing some of the things I find here. And yes, I am blessed with very nice Goodwill stores and the um, Legacy Thrift has always been wonderful. The church ones, there was one called Bethesda Thrift and that is now renamed to to Able Light, one word. So these are old grapes and I decided to do more of the gold because of the amber glassware that I was going to show today. So I do have, I should show you back over here. I do have that nice compote way down here. And the smaller one is over there. They're identical, I think, as far as the uh, beautiful open edge, lacy look, kind of like these dishes. But anyways, so I had those two sizes and I have used them in previous videos, but I don't use this one very much. It always reminds me of the Easter eggs. I think I've used it for that and also for the grapes. It's beautiful. I could try to look up who did that one. So it is different than what I've had here for quite a while. Underneath here is some grapes that are absolutely crazy. I decided not to have them on top. It's a dark, well, it's an olive green and heavily glittered cluster, as big as these. The grapes themselves are a tiny bit smaller, but I mean, the cluster is as big as these. And I have shared that before. It's pretty wild. I don't, I can't believe it when I find ones like that. People probably think, oh, is that ever ugly? That doesn't look like grapes. I know, but I just think they're fun and kooky. I really like the kooky stuff. So again, back to these. These three are crackle art glass ones. This was the one I was wondering if it was um, uranium glass. I bet it's the one that's in the cabinet. I won't test them out today, but we have done that in a previous video. And I love these little owl ones. I am so thrilled when I run across one of those. So I probably pay up a little bit for it. I do have an Amberina one. I was really tickled to find that also. And love these hobnail little creamers. This one is so unique, isn't it? It's so heavy. Very heavy piece. So unique. And I'm crazy for these too. Another one of the little uh, eagle. Little tiny, tiny miniature pitcher, I'll call it. And this is so sweet. I've never run across another one of those. 
I love that. Yeah. And I forgot to show you these over here. Now these are much simpler art glass ones, but I paired the one on the right that I've had for quite a while with this newly found, I think was that a dollar? I have it on video. We just went to Hutchinson, Minnesota and went to the um, thrift store there. It's a Hutchinson Auxiliary Health or Health Auxiliary, Hutchinson Health. That's it. It's a Hutchinson Health, which is a clinic, auxiliary um, organization that is running it and they just have wonderful prices. So I found some fun things just yesterday and that was one of them. It was, oh, it was ridiculous. I'll, I'll see if I, I'll have to look up the video of it and it could have been even 75 cents for some of their items. It was just ridiculous. But it is definitely art glass. Very simple. But it's pretty for us to look at all this green or gold when we're sitting across here having our meals. And I have shown this piece before. It's a little definitely artsy little piece I found at um, one of the thrift stores many years ago. I didn't even know what it was. And you know what's so funny? I keep running across it now. I see it all over the place. I don't know. And, and were they stackable? Maybe that's what they were. Who knows? For all I know, it could be an ashtray. I don't know. But I decided to put a little bit of gold candy in it. And I love this one in the middle. That is my newest creamer. I'll bet it had a darling sugar bowl to go with it, but it was nowhere around. So I got it really reasonable. It's just a beautiful piece. Nice little toothpick holder back there, and this is adorable, and I believe it would have had a little stopper in it. It is so small. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of that would have been. It's being so little, you know, just really, really small. And these are um, both more of an olive green. Love the hobnail one. It's pretty drab. And this was all by its lonesome. They sure are cute. And I find it hard to pass them up when I see them so cheap at the thrift stores. And I've only found one green swan. I'd say it's your individual salt holder. Isn't that what you call it? I don't know why, but that sounded funny. Yeah. Salt cellar. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah. I knew it sounded different. And I love these little vases. I mentioned that I always pick them up. They're Fenton. Different colors. I do find them, but it's best to hope that you can find them at a thrift store. A lot cheaper, like $3. No kidding. This very pretty small bottle is gorgeous. Um, I thought it was so cool. Didn't know anything about it and it was long enough ago that I guess I wasn't using Google Lens again, but this past year I looked it up because I showed it to you and someone is just calling it a cruet or bottle and they're calling it vintage and they're saying it has an undulating neck. <laughs> I guess that means wavy. But yeah, I, I can't really picture that being a cruet. But they're asking $275 for it. It has little stars on it. They probably figure it's pretty uh, retro looking. I don't know, because they're just saying vintage. They're not saying antique and they don't give any year and they don't give any maker, but they're sure asking a lot for it and I paid under $10 for it a long time ago. 
This is the only ceramic piece I've put on the wall here today. Uh, it looks much cuter with some little flowers in it. It is the sweetest planter that um, I found going into a small thrift store that is just up the street a little bit from the St. Paul Antique Mall. Not the Mall of St. Paul in our last antiquing video but after we were there we walked up the street to this little thrift store but I thought this was so cute and it does have the identification on the back which I'll show you I can just picture a leprechaun sitting on that stump playing this jello can you isn't that cute Yep, this is low on the back side, and I didn't even notice it. I don't think when we were buying it. I think I noticed it when I was cleaning it. Genie Ceramics, but look at that, 1952. Yeah, I thought, wow, that's a nice piece. So this is the only ceramic I put up here for you to see. Let me turn it around again. So I found this fun TV art that's free. Um, yep, very nice. There's so many gorgeous Easter ones that they're putting out now. They're just beautiful. So down here is the last things to show you over here. These are two of my latest purchases. Very, very reasonable, and I honestly can't remember that one for sure. It's kind of a bluer green, but I do recall I just purchased this uh, a couple weeks ago in Painesville at the Antique Cellar. So reasonable. And these old bottles typically have bubbles in them. All of them that I've shown you over there on the hutch top that are these little well, wine bottles, I guess, that have cute little stoppers in them. But I loved the ribbing and I loved the shape. Now this, I did run across it and the stopper that I knew was missing when I got it so cheap, it's a stem piece, that's what it is that's missing. So I have run across that in uh, an antique shop once or twice since last year. Kind of fun. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the glass again instead of all the little ceramics. I put them as many as I could out in the front entrance. I hope you got to see that first video for March. So this is the pretty fruity tablecloth. Again, apologies for not ironing it crisp for you. Uh, Norm just ran it through the dryer again with the other one. So I'm being lazy right now, sorry. <laughs> but look at, I did share this last year most likely. So that's what inspired me to use the grapes out here it's got the cutest ring open ring of grapes there and flowers in the center it was such a fun find over here in the corner on my fun little metal shelf I took out two pretty good size vintage roosters that I really have enjoyed having for spring because they are so green. Uh, bright chartreuse and a darker green. And I really didn't have much of anything else that I could put in the middle there. So I decided to use that pretty basket that I found for, well, was it something like $3.99 at the Pink Squirrel last year that is uh, early piece by Hedy 
I thought it was Heidi all this time, but someone wrote me and said that it's actually Hetty uh, Shoop. So it is signed on the bottom, and it was a really, really incredible thing to find for that kind of price. It's so thin on the top, and I think I had it on the kitchen table last year because I was so excited about it, finding it that reasonable. And the Pink Squirrel is always a great place to shop in Grantsburg, Wisconsin, once a month, just a monthly sale. We always have fun there, and I don't remember when I got these two roosters or where, I mean a hen and a rooster. So he's bigger. She's looking up a little bit. Yeah, I don't always find just the right things, the combination. I do have a lot of rooster figurines that I have shown in rooster videos or when I did the entire kitchen with that theme a couple years ago. So I really do like them, but some of them are kind of tall. They might not work so well. I really like them, though. I just think they're so fun when they're green. I just think it's neat to be colored more artsy. I uh, put one of our little orangey radios here it uh, may be more your solid state, not tubes, because it's pretty small Panasonic, one of our smaller ones. Yeah, the, the um, solid state ones tended to be a lot smaller radios than the big tube radios, but I like them all, mostly from the 60s. I thrifted this from the Goodwill and was totally shocked when I got home and took the label off the bottom from Goodwill and found that it was Hager. So I've often put it out here in the kitchen in the corner. I just think it's a very nice piece to fill up that corner. So I've got things facing the kitchen that we'll look at later. But let's look at the kitchen shelving arrangement this year. I decided to add a little pop of orange here and there. It's surprising how many pieces of green Pyrex. And uh, there's something else too. Uh, yeah, those um, white longer dishes like loaf pans on the bottom there. I'm not sure is that glass bake. I'll have to go look at them again. But it's amazing how much green I found at thrift stores. I actually found two sets. The Cinderella bowls in the middle, that was an entire set that was in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, Family Pathways several years ago. I believe this was also a set that I happened to find at a thrift store. I was amazed. And I do have lids. I just don't use them. Um, I could have uh, when stacking these here. That would have worked just fine. But it does get a little heavy and I do worry about the weight of all of this. So I won't go over too much of it. I know that most of you are very familiar with these patterns and I did share last year the sweet pig um, that is for serving hors d'oeuvres, uh, putting the toothpicks in there. I also found this set at a thrift store and also another set on the other side that are completely different and a little bigger. But I just love olive green, like I've been saying. So I did decide to pick them up at the thrift store. 
and found this, I believe, in the basement of an antique mall in Hastings, Minnesota. I think it's called Second Street Antique. Oh, I think it might have been five. That sounds more like it to me. I thought it was a real deal. And it's in a video. When we were there, we did a fun video of that very nice antique store. So I think that was a, an exciting find for me. I do like these Japan pieces, like this rooster too. Uh, very weird. It's got cork in the top and I did share that, I think, as a thrifted item. I did have a couple of very nice footed Amberina toothpick holders, so I put one on each side and found this little glass egg. The top actually has plastic inside of it, um, more like you would think of a canister having a piece of plastic to seal it. Uh, so I don't know what was in there. If, you know, I didn't look it up to see if it was an Avon item or what. It could have been. But I found that at a thrift store too, probably Legacy Thrift. Thought it was too cute to leave behind. So down here I also found these at thrift stores too. It might be an individual salt and I might be recalling that I saw that it was Fenton. But again, I'll, I'll spend more time checking on some of these things when I'm editing. I found three so far of these very sweet porcelain mugs. I just love them. That is the handle that we love. They are footed, of course. A lot of these are even up to the 80s that they were still making them. So, yep, it is Lefton. Does it have a date? It sure looks like it, doesn't it? Wow, that's really hard to read. 88? Oh, George Z. Lefton. Oh, that's cool. I did not remember that. Glad I looked. So I do like those. I wouldn't mind finding one more. Four is always nice. I just looked these up a little bit ago and it said they were L.E. Smith. A little mini set from the 50s. Really? Didn't know that. And that was from the Pink Squirrel Sale. A nice thermos server. And there's that set I thrifted. I did share this Japan set. Um, I think it was something that I found like at the Pink Squirrel. It was really reasonable, um, crazy price. So I thought it was a pretty cool pattern. Did I look on the bottom of that? I may have. Inesco. It's very worn out, but and it's upside down, but it says Inesco. Yeah, typical Japan set. I see them in Harvest Gold. Also very sweet. It's the patterns that I love and the cool shapes. Very mod. So there's the other set that I found at a thrift store. Amazing and the other nice Amberina toothpick holder. So while I'm over here, I found these two at the same time. They're made exactly the same way. And I did share those most likely last year in my spring video. I don't know if they say Japan on back or not. Not sure, oh probably Taiwan. That it could be. And I think we purchased this wild set from Wild Vintage Collective. Really unique. It makes me think of an Asian design. I guess I didn't Google that at all. This was my newest glass purchase, little child's cup from when we went to Annie's Attic in Buffalo. Minnesota. That was in a recent video. This I already had. It's a kitten on one side and a little dog 
in a basket on the other side. They are very sweet, irresistible. So I have shared all my oranges and tomato type juice pictures. They are islip. They are the juice size. And these two lovely glasses were from Stillwater, Minnesota. I'm trying to think of the name of the Midtown Antiques. It came with that beautiful Islip picture for $25 for all three items. I was amazed. Those are big, tall glasses. And I did share that set. Salt and pepper set is huge, but so unique. I fell for that last year. Don't remember where. Very good price though. They're most likely Japan. I'll pick up an odd piece of uranium glass at a thrift store. That one is so uh, Art Deco. Oh, I love that piece. Wish I would have found the creamer. So beautiful. I don't want to try to identify any of these, but I believe this was my mother's dish too. Not this one. I think I found that most recent. Sweet little candy dish. Don't remember where. And this is a wonderful set. It was such a good deal. $14 for the set. Depression. Green. Black optic. Creamer and sugar set. 14 That wasn't bad, I don't think, for uranium glass. Beautiful piece and just found this at um, a thrift store in Hutchinson, Minnesota. I bought some very cute things at that thrift store. I think it was 75 cents. <laughs> An odd little custard cup. So what else do we have? These are, you know, Hazel Atlas or Federal. That's Federal. Many years ago, I found that for like $9. Way out in the country. And all of these, I ended up with so many of them with the Ivies because they came in sets. I never found odd pieces. I always ended up finding sets. So I wanted some of them. So I ended up with a lot because the set was so reasonable. One of these sets right here was, um, from Red Wing and they were going out of business so everything was half price yeah so that was a real deal oh I should show you before I get away too far I found this in Lafayette Minnesota I think it's so funny poor Richard's almanac <laughs> I thought it was pretty unique, such a, you know, elaborate metal um, holder with the rooster on it. Pretty wild. And here's my green plant holder and very crazy drip glaze hobbyist piece. And I changed the red phone to our beige trim line. It's just a push button. The red one is actually a dial one. Much older. So, back up here again. Um, these, oh, you know, I just don't know. I just don't recall, but I will put a note in there. I'm sure it doesn't matter to you because you, if you're in the market for one, you'd be able to find either design some more another set that I happen to find really cheap um, they're mixed up I mean I mixed them all up so there's even two down in the bottom shelf here but this one I really got a deal on this one um, it is a promotional one I think it had something to do with 
uh, brides. But I love it, and I was really lucky to find that. I know it was really, really reasonable. I thought I got a great deal. Down here, some pretty dark stuff, and this is a beautiful one, too. I guess they're all called um, Crazy Daisy, huh? I didn't realize that. See, that one casserole matches these two bowls here. So I don't have a whole set. It's just odd pieces that I found here and there. So I decided to put some green placemats on this rack here and um, share some more vintage things. Another big casserole and the cute scale. So let's see. The Isla pictures, I had been finding some uh, new ones to add and it was pretty much this Lily one I think is the latest. I think that's also a very new one. I was so happy to find something in orange. Usually these Isla pictures are so multicolored that it is very difficult to find something in just one basic color. Love the ivy one. Very, very nice. And Norm's crazy about this one. Norm bought this set. It has very colorful glasses. Two blue, two green, two yellow. I think that's all. I think it was just six glasses. Yeah, really fancy. It is a for serving cocktails and I didn't know it. He didn't know it. It was just a nice little pitcher and glasses to us, but I, I honestly did not know that. Oh well, we're learning. And this was so reasonable last year. So, so reasonable. I'm sorry I'm getting some glare from our, probably our kitchen window behind me. I love this one. This was from Antiques of the Midwest LLC in mm, Wells, Minnesota. Very reasonable. That might have been two. I can't remember, but oh, I love the Ivy one up there too. It's newer than something like that one. That one is probably more of 70s, like the orange one. That's what I think. I really do love these orange and golden. More orange, aren't they? There's a little lighter color maybe in that flowery one with a little bit of metallic threads in that one on the light color that's a little more yellow. But yeah, basically they're kind of orangey and green and white. They are pretty fancy. I really like them. I don't remember when I may have shared these couple of adorable canisters. That's all there was. That's happened to me quite a few times. I'll only end up with two or three, but these are the two bigger ones. I love those flowers. <laughs> so cute. Calico-like. And I've always loved my absolutely wild 30 cup coffee maker. It is a West Bend. I see it once in a while in an antique mall. So uh, I don't show you these enamel pieces up here much. I may have only done it like once that I can recall, but you know, I've gotten a very nice collection in the past year or two, I started getting interested in them. So these are the rest of the pot holders. They're all so pretty. It's fun to have something different to look at. And I love that tray. It's in beautiful condition. I found it for Oh, was it marked down to 
99 cents or something absolutely crazy at Bibles for Missions, and there was three of them, but I only took one. Nice um, thermos. And I've shown that sweet glass canister before with more fun flowers that are um, checkered. Yeah. And I've shared that set many times. That was actually at the Goodwill. Wow. That was really shocking. I was just <laughs> thinking I was seeing things. Yeah, that usually you'd only find one, right? So Norm uses this every morning, so that was appropriate. He puts two eggs in there. So he makes breakfast. That's very nice, very helpful to me. And these are two more wild pans that I've found over the years. Pretty reasonable, but this was more of a splurge. This one was last year at the Countryside Antique Mall in Cannon Falls, Minnesota. I just loved those graphics, and I have seen teapots or maybe a coffee pot um, in Duluth. I saw one, almost got it. It's in a video in Duluth. Had this for many, many years. Very sweet ceramic owl spoon rest. Oh, here's the other very fun fork. I forget who made these. Sometimes, sometimes it will say echo. Stainless USA, that's what it says. Yeah, I use them. I try not to put them in the dishwasher though. So I got a fun cookbook out and I've been using Tupperware items, the spoons and measuring cups, odds and ends of pieces. This is a Foley spoon. I use all of this stuff all the time. I just love them. I think they're really neat. And isn't this funny? This was at um, Legacy Thrift. Probably was anywhere from 49 to 99 cents. And I don't think there's any identification on it, but do you know what that's for? I do. It's funny. It's hard to tell whether, you know, this was a craft, like a do you think this is mass produced or do you think this was something that could have been made in a in a shop glass? Who knows? I don't know, but it's for holding your recipe card. But those are brass tacks. It's probably vintage. I'm just guessing. This was my mother's um, pitcher. Yeah, it is also uranium glass. And I just found this kind of fun. Um, I think it was marked 250, but it was at the sale in Rogers and 20% off. So did I get a deal? It's really a sweet tin. Souvenir. And it's it's got a plastic lid. Well, you know, it's a salt shaker. But it says made in Hong Kong, so I know it's older. And isn't this cute? Isn't this sweet? I can't even remember where I just found that. There's no lid, but that doesn't bother me. I would use it just for utensils. So up here, my new piece is the jam guy. I couldn't resist him. I don't remember even where we were. Um, we've been to too many places lately, having fun. So this one's mustard, and they did not come with spoons, but that didn't bother me. I could stick a spoon in it if I wanted to. But So that one's relish, but I thought this was very cute. And I did look at the bottom. Let me carefully take that off. This guy was $14.50, so I considered him a splurge. 
deforest of California. Hand painted. Hmm. I think I've heard of that. Maybe there's some collectibles of these characters. I'll have to keep my eye out just for the heck of it now that I know about it. We were in Painesville, Minnesota after going to Spicer, Minnesota. And in Painesville, I picked up one of these green ones. And I think it was this fancy one. And that is at the Antique Cellar, C-E-L-L-A-R, in Painesville, Minnesota. I was pretty happy because that's pretty unusual. And this I just got at the same sale, also Rogers 101, uh, $2.50 like the other one. She had a whole bunch of nice tins there, and they were all $2.50, but they were all 20% off, and I only picked two of them. They were very nice condition, I thought. I'm very happy with the IGI Time one. I remember that from Hickston. And too hard to remember some of these others. The parsley one might have been Duluth. But it is fun finding some unique ones like that, isn't it? I've had the Cremets tin over here for quite a long time. I was in the past using that for a utensil holder. And this, I don't recall where I got the canister set. But I do love it for March, for sure. Very nice. You saw the last time, probably it was a March video. It's hard to believe I haven't shown some of these things for a whole year. Boy, the year goes fast. But I love that guy because he's green and green and gold. They come in a lot of different colors. Crazy toes on him. And I splurged on this guy. It was on eBay and I just was enamored with my frogs after I took them out. He just arrived yesterday. Lucky me. It is the cutest planter. So I did put a little grass in there. She had it marked 16, maybe, something like that. And I was absolutely shocked. No shipping fee. Can you believe that? How many people do that? Wow. But I just had to get that to share with you. What a deal. So... What happened was, part of the auction on eBay said, make an offer. Well, I didn't want to do that. But what I did do was put it on a watch. Because I thought, well, you never know. She might see that I'm watching it, and she might offer something. Sure enough, the very next day, she sent me an offer. I knew you'd like that. Yep, my new happy frog. I have shared these same fun green 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 very fun patterns this one is heavier and a lot of these are EO Brody that one on the end the one in the middle same diamond like pattern and another one on the end this one is a very heavy piece. Don't remember, a couple years ago, and I don't know who made this either, but I do like these. They remind you of like milk glass ones, and of course this is probably the best. The bubble one. So that's probably the bigger, biggest one. And these are uranium glass plates that I got very cheap. I found one of them many years ago. It was Bibles for Missions. Yeah, it was probably 99 cents or something. I thought, are you kidding me? 
I could see that was old depression glass. They sell their glassware so ridiculously cheap. But then at the Pink Squirrel, there's a gentleman that we buy a lot of stuff from because he's got great things. And he's so cheap. Um, he has a whole shelf full of um, uranium glass. And he had a stack of these plates for $3 each. So I broke down and decided to get two more of them because they're so pale, they don't darken the window. And I just put up recently the green and orange mugs. I think they're Fire King. I love using little placemats out here to keep from scratching the countertop, being able to move around your appliances. I just found this uh, a couple months ago, a thermos brand, fun, mm, that could be 70s, I don't know, some fun mugs I've had for quite a while that I've shown you. My brother's coffee pot that he gave me quite a, well, at least a couple years or more ago. A couple of fun mugs. I found the creamer and sugar here, but the sugar is missing the top. So I did not set that out for today. You've seen this before. Um, what was that by Japan Sticker? That fancy little gold one makes you think of um, Joseph Originals. That's it. Makes me think it might be. I don't know. That little round sticker. You've seen this little tin before. I've had only two of these old juice glasses. Tiny little toothpick holder. A couple years ago at least. Some fun little salt and pepper set there. <laughs> those were so cute. I bet the, that I got those also from uh, Antiques 101 and Rogers because they have all these salt and pepper sets. So reasonable. So this is a very fun new addition to my planters. Very sweet girl in greens. Oh, I thought she was so pretty. I already forgot where I got her. I'm sorry, I just can't keep all that straight. This was like, was it like $9? They had a half price day in Osceola, Wisconsin, antique mall there. Yeah, I thought, what, half price? I guess I wasn't excited about the original price 18 you know but but then when I saw the sign oh we got that out of the cabinet fast yeah and you know I ended up finding a, an amber one exactly like it uh, um, a year or so ago maybe a year and a half yeah that's in the basement maybe I'll take that out for fall and I have not shared this pretty dish with you I don't recall where I got that either, but I thought it was a very, very nice dish to serve with. So I've set some things, pieces out here that I would consider serving things in. That is really pretty. Now, you may recall in a video at Nostalgia that I found this. I think it was, it could have been 24 about, but it's really lovely pottery. I would assume it's California pottery, but I really thought that this holder was so sweet. Pretty cool with the rings. And this was thrifted from Legacy Thrift, and it was like Two ninety nine, something like that. Just ridiculous. And I thought, why is that so low? That is just so cool. Look at the handle on this thing. Just so, um, what do you call it? Organic. <laughs> but 
I realized after I picked it up and told Norm, oh, I was so excited. I finally realized that it did have a chip on it underneath on one of the leaves. So that's why. Yep. But still, that's irresistible. And this was thrifted a long time ago. I think this was like one of my first little tidbit things. Who made this? Wade of California. So I think Norm sprayed the handle because it was pretty tarnished. It looks nicer. And I don't recall where I found this beautiful uh, uranium glass dish. It's so Art Deco. And I have shared it years ago when I got it. So pretty. This is new. I don't know if you've seen this swan. It was at Midtown Antiques in Stillwater, Minnesota. Very beautiful swan that I found irresistible. Very nice. So I thought that it would be fun to share some of these pieces that you could definitely serve with. So thank you all so much for watching today. I am so grateful and so is Norm for your wonderful friendship, your very, very lovely comments. Um, you're so appreciative and we find it fun to entertain you. So that's our goal. You have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Thank you.